Good morning. Four days in, in the new year. We're talking about the Son of Man be lifted up. And we're in John 12, 34. Jesus is, is telling a little story here. You know, he had told the story about unless a grain of wheat falls to the earth and dies, man, it cannot live. And then he, he became very troubled in his spirit. Very troubled. And a voice came out of heaven and says, I will glorify you and I will lift you up. Well, we know in John 3, verse 17, Jesus said, except the Son of Man be lifted up. I cannot draw all men to myself. So he's telling me and you and anyone that will dare listen to the word of God that Jesus himself, the son of the most high God, the first of the begotten, was troubled by his spirit knowing that he knew he himself was going to have to die that many might be saved through that resurrection. He's telling you and I that unless he was lifted up and unless he is lifted up in mine and your life daily, we are going to miss that resurrection power. You know, you cannot stumble along in this earth without glorifying and praising and worshiping your Savior every day. Sometimes some of us need to do it hour after hour after hour till we get it. You know, our old flesh is always rising up against us. It's always causing us to look at it the other way or to look that way or to say something or to think something. You know, uh, the Apostle Paul said in 2 Corinthians 10, verse 5, it says, Casting down imaginations and bring every thought to the obedience of the anointing, Christ. It's not Jesus' last name. It's who he is, and it's who he is in us. So when he's saying, I must be lifted up to draw men, when we pray and worship him and seek him and speak his name before the public and before the audiences of the world, then we lift him up high. And when we lift him up, the glory of God the Father flows down off of him into the body of this earth. And then people are drawn through that love because that love was mingled with that blood that cleansed and washed every person and made them whole and complete in Christ. With that covenant relationship, you and I have been changed from a sinner to a resurrected saint. We've been changed from one going nowhere to one with a purpose and a mission and a, a way to understand the presence of a holy God, to walk with our Father in the coolness of the day, in the heat of the day, 24-7, we can have His presence. He said, I'll never forsake you. Lo, I'm with you always. Oh, can you realize that? May you see that if you lift the Lord up, the anointing will come upon you to cause you to be greater than who you think you are. In Jesus' name, amen.